We are in front of our female wood bison paddock. We've got our tiny little bison calf that was just born at the end of last month on June 30th. And what's unique about her is that the genetics used to for, for her birth, so her, um, her birth story is uh, that of assisted reproductive technologies. So we actually have a biobank here, uh, Canada's wildlife cryobank, um, where we have a diverse array of uh, tissues and cells, um, living cells from a variety of different species. And we took sperm from our, our biobank, uh, thawed it, did an artificial insemination, and um, that calf is the, the product of that, those efforts. The science behind the reproductive team happens in their lab, where samples are cryogenically frozen to preserve them for future species reproduction. We've been working on that in zoos for, for quite a while, trying to develop these technologies. It's another way of us um, being able to capture and store um, genetic diversity from, from populations, from you know, endangered species. And they are an important Canadian species, near threatened. Um, the, the herds obviously would be much smaller in number again compared to about a century ago. Ultimately, our goal is conservation. It's, it's species conservation and, and these types of tools and technologies really assist with that. So there are a multitude of ways that you can accomplish that. Um, these types of technologies, assisted reproductive technologies, cryogenic storage, that's just one piece you know, of, a, of a conservation puzzle. Um, but it's the only one really that allows you to freeze in, in, in this moment in time where you're at the genetic diversity right now, hold on to it until things start to get a little bit better. Um, and then when you're starting to rebuild that population, uh, you're doing it from a, a bigger diversity pool than just a few individuals. Well, so far the little baby doesn't have a name, but you can check the zoo's social media for that update. And you can come and visit the new baby at the bottom of the Canadian domain. At the Toronto Zoo, Audra Brown, City News.